What's up, folks? Positive Paul, and it is Manic Monday, January 4th, 2021. Boy, I must be the boy in the bubble, because it feels like January 4th, 2016. Hey, well, the $64,000 question is going to be, have uh, you people out there in the land of the lost that was once known as America put things in reverse? I, I, will, do, I will say that you know, most of my, my problems really came out, out in the open, out in the forefront under Obama's watch. And I look back and I, I'm, I'm asking myself, how do we live through this? If you were around back in 2015, leading into 2016, and you're in the thick of this whole targeting conundrum, which really... Again, is just one aspect of the damage control program concerning satanic ritual abuse survivors. But with that being said, I look, we're I guess we're all we all fell prey to short term memory. Cause now here we are with Trump less than three weeks away of packing his bags and skedaddling wherever he's going to skedaddle off to. He's done his job. But for Snake Eye Monday, we are going to stroll down memory lane, folks, because it's important. You know, as I've always said, look, you know, it's nice to know all the ancient details concerning history, the who, the what, the when, the why. We can definitely, uh, you know, it, it, it makes for good conversation. But at some point, the, the, the minutia, the sticky details, no longer become relevant as it relates to trying to understand what side are you on, meaning life or death. Now, we know way back when Trump was on the Alex Jones show, end of 2015, and, you know, Alex, he, he, he was saying, we're going to help you restore the republic. We're going to, you know, the, the globalists are going to be put in their place. The Satanist. Okay, remember, you, you know, using all, all the good buzzwords we all know. And, you know, Trump, get, he does get elected. But what's interesting is, folks, have we put things in reverse? Is it as if Trump was never president? Is that possible? That on the timeline stream, somehow, we're going to erase the past four years? Because what happened? Did anything really become... Oh, okay, these, these white hats. Oh, yeah, okay. They, they've been busy, right? Q, Q. Hey, whatever happened to wiping out the deep underground military bases that have been infested by reptilians, the big, you know, the shootout and all that. Is that still going on? Do we still hear these explosions below the earth? Well, hey, look, a lot was said, but here, here's how this works. We'll, we'll do this, folks. Now, with relation to baby Jabba the Hutt, Alex knows his scripture. He knows in Exodus 23, Thou shall not raise a false report. Put not thine hand with the wicked to be an unrighteous witness. Now, you know, interestingly enough, as we know, these creepy chameleon Canaanites do know scripture. They understand how the game works. It's programmed into them instinctively. But some of us that don't want to come clean with this whole satanic ritual abuse conundrum and, and actually who's at this point, who's left? Who is left that can actually publicly come out, show their face, give their name, give, give some basic details about themselves, that how they found themselves in this position? Because it goes way beyond the targeting, folks, as it's been presented to the, the average Joe out there that even pays attention to this. We know that social media was set up 
with a vast array of uh, this huge perp army, this whole, it's like an octopus coming at you, right? They got eight ways to knock you out, and here you are, uh, just a dumbed down human, mind controlled maybe, with, with just, you know, two eyeballs, two arms, two legs. So the point is, we're gonna go back. How this works, because look folks, I can lose my train of thought, but this could be an all over the map video. So what they do is, the, the damage control program concerning satanic ritual abuse survivors was put into play a long time ago. And they developed these distractions. One of them is going to be known as the whole alien conundrum. So we're all going to sit here now and wait for six more months as they string you along. Remember all the promises from Trump? And all his ilk and Alex, oh, the 66,000 indictments, the pedophiles are being rounded up as we speak. And what do they do? They throw a, a couple of sicko Hollywood creep, hybrid creeps under the bus, folks. Do, do you see how this works? So, you know, even though we forgive, we don't forget, folks. So how this works is they they get these jokers, meaning... Alex or Bill Hicks, whoever he is, and they'll create these staged events that will become a signature staged event to legitimize their existence for running their yaps, spewing their disinfo, and truth to keep you, you know, don't want to totally shut shut you out. Humans are, are smart. We still, some of us out there. So they create staged events. Now, Alex, his is known as always fighting the governor of Texas, George Bush, back in the uh, mid-90s, you know, before Bill Cooper was on his show a couple times. But he's in his one staged event where he's standing up yelling at Governor Bush, and they cart him off in handcuffs, and they've used that for the past 20 years. Going back to the well, folks, it's nothing new, nothing new under the sun. So with these frauds, what they do is, however their assignments work, or they're just that creative to make this stuff up. But you got to remember, Alex was squawking the whole time. Oh, okay, the white, just just like, uh, you know, Mrs. It over on Project Camelot. Oh, the white hats, this and that. You know, and then you got the whole whole other farce with the, the other uh, goofballs, the Orion Council of Light and the Palladians. Who is sitting down with these people? Well, look, I'm going to tell you something. They know, they understand that shall not God search this out, for he knoweth the secrets of the heart. And if there is a big brother, all right, and, and we're, we are now, we are right I mean, we we're smack dab in the middle of all this 1984 garbage, right? No turning back. But yet, did we turn back? This is my question for 2021, folks. We put things in reverse. What, Biden? Again, what is Biden going to do for me as probably one of the last known MK Ultra survivors in my age group, meaning males? Uh, it, it just, you know, it boggles the mind. So when you look at Psalm 44 here, the Israelites know, hey, look, we screwed up. You hath sore broken us in the place of dragons and covered us with the shadow of death. If we have forgotten the name of our God or stretched out our hands to a strange God, won't you know this? So what the few remaining Israelites are saying, hey, please, Father, not all of us were rotten apples. You know, please, you know, show us how, how look, give us the promise of our forefathers, you know, the, the, the ones that, that you, you, when they prayed for Sukkor and they, they, you gave them repayment to our enemies. So, yes, as we, we drag along, as, as these creepy chameleon Canaanites, these dirty Draco, reptoid, Hollywood hack hybrids, walk down their primrose path with their rose-colored glasses and are going to, you know, essentially, you know, still try to mes mesmerize the few remaining people that hasn't succumbed to... Uh, 
this mass media mind control. But we're going to review, folks. We're going to do an all reptoid review extravaganza. And I'm just getting started. As you know, I'm not in a good mood today. But look, hey, I'm going to, you know, tr try to be pleasant for 2021. But on Snake Eye Monday, we give honor to little baby Jabba the Hutt. Alex Jones or Bill Hicks or whoever. See, he, he thought he was going to mock me back in 2016, call my family a bunch of serfs, him and his little bitch, Owen, the Dirty Draco hybrid. See, folks, in the process of trying to be polite, trying to uh, have a rational conversation about our situation concerning being overran by hybrids now, as it relates to Daniel 2, 43, Jeremiah 30, 1, 27. We got big problems still. And I see people are dropping like flies. You know, people that, I don't get this. You know, you start pulling down all your videos. Yeah, YouTube's in on it, but look, you got to do this to the bitter end. So Alex, we know Alex is no better than his boy Donnie. Now what I'm going to show you is, folks, is remember, remember, we heard all about these asshole white hats who could care less about me. All about these, uh, uh, what, Palladians and Orion Council of Light that seem to be hanging around me. And they're obsessed, these dirty little reptoids. What we're going to do is, folks, I'm going to remind you that They're right now put into play. We are in a situation where there's individuals that walk around, walk amongst us, and this is way beyond they live. But their one goal in mind is to wipe out humans. Now, when you see this electromagnetic distortion, you know one thing. You don't have to question yourself. You get down on your knees and you start praying. Now look, this is how this works. These three finger Louis. All right, they all have their little staged events that then they get propelled into the public eye and get to, you know, do their act for as long as they can. Some of them can't keep it together. Yeah, they have a short shelf life, folks. Now here's one. We know about these motivational speaker types. Mr. Uh, you know... America himself, all right? So what I would suggest, folks, is you, you consider seriously the world that you live in. So what happens is we know about with the electromagnetic distortion and you get the, uh, the, 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 the lines, the flattening. Look at his chin, how his chin right here is getting all distorted. Now you got to take into effect when you're doing this shape-shifting analysis, it's when they start serving up phony baloney. It's when, watch what they're talking about when these things happen. Now again, they gotta touch their self. He's got his own way of doing things. Some of them grasp their hands. And a lot of it's a natural thing that humans would do too, folks. But again, humans are not gonna have this discoloration, this distortion, all right? Now watch, watch what he does to try to correct it. Now look at this. He still, he can't do it. He can't do it, folks. Now, am I making myself clear, people? Again, I'll just repeat. I've been a live wire since uh, essentially March of last year. And I know what's going on. These uh, dirty, filthy Satanists know that their time is up. And yes, yes, Positive Paul is on a very, very short leash right now. Who knows? As I try to, um, you know, get out of the muck and mire, the, the quicksand that I was thrown into. Some of us folks never had a choice. But I see this so clearly now, folks. It's so clear to me on what's going on, all right? And look, 
they can have their fun and we're all stuck in the middle. We're all stuck in the middle. But really, who? Who has eyes to see? Now, see, the mentality has been developed. If it's not in my backyard, who cares? See, Americans aren't going to get it through their thick heads until they are in these fenced-off pens. So all of it's going to happen probably in one fell swoop. Because, what, oh, you're waiting now for disclosure? Oh, the look, these phony reptoid disinfo agents are so happy. They know for six months they got a job still. All right? Catch your mid effect, folks. Remember, what do we look for in elect with electromagnetic distortion? The eyeballs, the wackadoodle eyeballs, the lips, the nose, the hands. Just remember, folks, these snake oil salesmen, all right, are nothing but that. And they're sitting in their cushy little million dollar homes telling you, oh, don't worry, everything's going to be okay, remain calm. Same thing, folks. It's the same. Don't forget. Please, dear Lord, I know. I know you're up there. Somehow. Can, 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 can maybe you just let one of us in, please? Now, here's an interesting thing. I remember back in 2017 when, you know, Mr. Trump was elected. You know, Uncle Carl's lackey, George Bush, all that, Kissinger. I still don't understand. When I'm waiting for the news. I'm waiting for the news, folks. No touch torture log of innocent American who had to flee to Mexico due to heavy stalking and electronic harassment in San Diego, California. Awoke 3.30 a.m. to pulsating hum in right ear, heart beating irregular, metallic taste in my mouth, blood coming out of my mouth, radio frequency harassment. CIA, DIA still have Mexican perps in training to be Nazis harassing and stalking me. America can never be great again with torture and stalking taking place on a daily basis. Positive Paul. Now Trump, he knows who I am. He knows who pain in the ass Paul was on his watch because he's gone. And what'd you do for me there, Mr. Trump? Yeah, yeah, the VA, they weren't smart enough to totally string me up. Yeah, they denied my disability, tried to make me look crazy. But that's all right, I'm still hanging around, aren't I? Remember, it's a series of attrition, folks. And while you're sitting back in your cushy little houses making your spaghetti recipes or baking cookies, turning the oven up, get that heat going, just remember, when the lights go out, think of me. So yeah, what did Trump do? He didn't do anything. He responded finally six months later on my dad's birthday. And that was just a cryptic message to say, well, look, you know, buddy boy, yeah, we get the goods on your dad too. And we'll put him out of his misery if you don't watch it. So look, they, it's sad. We all make our choices, folks. Free will, free will. Now, I'll never forget. I love this Dr. Soul is Dead. Now, here's a long time ago, once I started harping on these jokers, the phony T.I. community, oh, the big T.I. lawsuit, just the same as this investigator uh, crap with this uh, Price character. Never was a lawsuit. Remember Brian, too? Ooh, I call out all T.I.s, right? Zeph and Barden were his two top uh, people for the lawsuit. Yeah, could you imagine? But see, look, we not all of us are stupid, all right? Now, the reason why I'm showing this, because Doc was around back then. He lived through all this. And I think this, this individual is the real deal. I just wish, you know, um, maybe uh, participate a little more in trying to expose these frauds. Because, look, I, like I said, I'm running out of gas. I don't know who's going to do the heavy lifting. Now, what we're going to look at now is these jokers, all right? Well, people thought rock and roll was going to save their soul. No. Now, the hybrid breeding program, remember, as I stated, you have different age groups. And the original, original reptoids, meaning these were probably cloned people that fallen angels would inhabit the, the vessel, right? 
and a lot of them would be would have been placed in positions of high stature, but also in, within entertainment. Now you're looking at Bob Weir of the Grateful Dead, one of the original. Well, let's just say, original hybrids from the hybrid breeding uh, program post World War II. Now, what you're looking at is a concert during the daytime at, at RFK Stadium out in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, be, uh, yeah, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, I believe, in 1989. And it has nothing to do with the stage lighting. When you see this darkness around the eyes, you know that's a, a demonic indwelling. Now, in his case, he has a fallen angel that, that inhabits him. Now, like what they do with the uh, humans that they try to, you know, sideline and have been thousands of years, meaning these bloodlines, these fallen angels will do their hocus pocus. And then eventually during a ritual with a baby human, they're able to access these individuals and literally, you know, essentially take over. Meaning if you... You really study these people and just listen if they talk just normal. If you ever watch a normal interview, he's, pff, I mean, he's he's out there. But it's because he's a hybrid who is infested with fallen angel and demons. So here's how this works. Now, with the fallen angels, you'll get the darkening around the eyes, okay? And it will extend through the face, now, in this, this particular shot, they're doing a song, and I, it just somehow he gets into a trance, but look at this. This is just bizarre, folks. Now, all this music back from the 60s was all part of MK Ultra. I've done plenty of videos now, you know, which no one was allowed to watch. I noticed, like, a lot of my videos from March... And some of my predictions like have no views like one was like nine views because they don't like what I was saying. That's real nice. YouTube free uh, fourth. What is it? The First Amendment freedom of speech. Come on. So we do have different types of hybrids and they have different issues. Now, the original ones, they'll get the most elect electromagnetic distortion. But look, look what happens. OK. Now watch this, folks. Watch this. This is what is behind all this. You don't think these fallen angels aren't in human form, all right? And this is what I'm trying to get through the Rosarito Beach, Mexico, man. You guys are like gambling with your own souls. You might as well go to Las Vegas hoping I'm wrong about everything. Now, again, I'm in a funny mood, folks. This is why I do these videos, because I've got nothing better to do with my time. There's no job to go to. There's no help, medical help. There's no legal system for me, because it's all under the guise of this false reality that if Satan has his way, if there ever was a Satan you can guarantee there'll be no more humans left. Question is, folks, are we really down to the 144K? Remember, if you're out there spouting off, oh, I'm 144,000, I talk to God all day. You, you better, you know, think long and hard because this is the first clue to what one of these phony reptoid disinfo agents would purport. That they somehow, uh, it, it cracks me up, really. How many people do you think are on social media, meaning Americans, and they're claiming, oh, 144K, oh, oh, one of the end time saints. Yeah, okay. Well, how, how, how do you determine that? And what, what, what is your vague testimony? You see what I'm saying, folks? All right? All things considered, we can't argue with math especially as it comes to our Heavenly Father's sacred math. But when you see this, you better understand that what you're looking at is not who, it's what.